bonita, por favor. This coffee is so watered down. But I need it. <laughs> Are we ready? I feel like Frida is more in shot than I am. Is this good? This is what happens when you have to film yourself and you blab. I can't see anything. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to this little corner of the internet of YouTube. So I realize I never really introduce myself um, in my videos and I guess I act like everybody should know who I am. Um, obviously not everyone knows who, who I am. My name is Greta, Greta Luna Priego, Greta Luna Priego. Thanks for hanging out with me for a little bit. So, what are we talking about today? Uh, I decided, you know, we are all in this really crazy, insane time where technology is everything. We're staying connected with each other and we're able to con kind of, like not everyone can, but some people are able to continue with their work or with their school because of things like Zoom, things like Skype, FaceTime, you know, you know that kind of stuff. I don't know, is this the weirdest video idea I've ever had? Maybe. Um, am I gonna do it anyways? Yes. Um, but I thought it'd be super cool, super fun to do a video on just how to dress for your Zoom conferences, for your online classes. But this is more for casual Zoom settings or if you're in a more relaxed job. And note, these will obviously only be top up. So basically the top of your outfit because no one cares about what's happening down here. So let's do it. My first idea is actually this situation I have on top. Obviously, like I said, I know this is not wearable for everything. You can't probably have an interview in this top, but if you're in a more relaxed setting, like I said, this might be appropriate. So what I love about this top, what I want to point out is the square neckline. I feel like the square neckline is so flattering. It looks so good on everybody like it just looks real cute and I feel like it just opens you up a little bit more especially if you layer jewelry jewelry would be so cute uh, I layered some gold earrings on top and I just love the combination of white with gold I feel like white t-shirts white tops anything white with gold jewelry is <laughs> oh so if anyone can send me another adjective or synonym for cute, please uh, DM me. <laughs> I just feel like this is really, really, really cute. I was gonna say it again. I was gonna say it again. And if you have a tan, unlike me, and you haven't spending time outside in your patio, or you've been taking a lot of walks lately, you can show off that tan with a white top. Hi. So going along with that whole square neckline vibe, I am obsessed. Obsessed. Obsessed with this top right here. This one is from And Other Stories. Grr. I just love this square neckline. This is a little bit more professional, so if you're having some type of work meeting or even if an if you words they can be hard sometimes. Even if you're having an interview, I feel like this would be really flattering. It's a little bit more modest. Well, actually a lot more modest than the other one that I showed you. Um, this would be great for online class. And this is kind of a nice transition for spring. A classy vibe, a classy queen. And you can even layer, girl. I just, I'm coming up with ideas as I'm talking about this. This would be really cute with like a red lip and gold jewelry. Mm. They would give you that job in a heartbeat. I'm just saying. And speaking of spring, were we even talking about spring? I feel, I know that green, like this minty green color is going to be one of the colors of the season because I have seen it everywhere. Like I've seen it in shoes, I've seen it in bags, I've seen it in tops, I've seen it in skirts. This one is a wrap top, which if we're talking about interesting uh, tops that give a little twist, it because it has a twist oh my God. but I just really like how you can see that it twists around it's a little bit more professional also so this is great for you know those zoom interviews those zoom conferences people are even having like zoom networking events like I think that is awesome and I love the kind of balloon ish they're not super balloon balloony uh, 
why is that so funny? But I just really like how they kind of like go out a little bit and then they cinch in at the wrist. Tops that are like that, again, very flattering. They make your hands and your wrists look very delicate because nowadays with Zoom, people are really only looking at your like face and your hands if you talk with your hands a lot, which I do. So another cool way where you can kind of like give a little bit of visual interest, that sounds really weird. A one shoulder top is very flattering. I know Urban Outfitters has so many one shoulder tops out right now. I think a lot of them are on sale. I might even snatch one up, but it's just really, really comfortable. You don't really have to wear a bra with it, which is really nice. Uh, so you can be even extra comfier because you're probably wearing like pajamas on the bottom and you don't even have to wear a bra. Like. And also, I highly recommend it to pair this top with some curled hair. I feel like long curled hair, you don't really have to have long hair. Actually, even short hair would be really cute with this look because you can show off your shoulder even more. The Greek goddess vibe, we are here for it. Zoom is here for it. Okay, I'm gonna start talking about this shirt now. So I know this look is not everyone's cup of tea. I mean, even when I bought it, my mom was like, I think you should really focus on the neckline and also the shoulders. So this one is just like both, like boom, because you have the super high neckline. This is very hit or miss. Um, like I said, some people think you look like, you know, George Washington. But in my opinion, I feel like it elongates your neck a little bit and it's just very flattering. And same thing goes with these very big puppy sleeves. Kind of like what I was talking about with the wrap top, but this one's a little bit more, <laughs> a lot more accentuated. And this one cuts a little bit shorter. I really like the fact that it's sheer. Again, this might make it a little bit more inappropriate for work conferences or work calls or whatever, but if you just layer under a, um, under like a tank top that is the same color as the shirt. So since the shirt has a lot of white in it, um, I layered like a white bandeau underneath. I love that the shoulders are a little bit pokey. If you wear a top like this, people just automatically think you've been drinking your lemon water in the morning. They're gonna think like, okay, she's the type of girl who wakes up, like makes her bed, makes lemon water, and does yoga. So here is an option for those of you who have actual work, like you have your boss maybe on the call or you're giving like a team a meeting and you need to look a little bit more put together. Cause I mean like how much more modest can you go? I mean like it would cover your whole face at this point. Um, but I think a high neck is very classy, it's very elegant, and also very professional, but it's also very fashion forward. I feel like high neckline is very classic, you can't really go wrong with it. It makes your neck look nice and long and like, like a swan. You look like a cute little swan. I am such a sucker for a quarter life, quarter, I can't say that. I, I keep wanting to say quarter life crisis. What's a quarter life crisis? Oh, that's 25, that's soon. I feel like this would also be really cute with an updo, you know? Like a cute little updo, maybe some pieces like hanging in the front. Do you, do you see, do you see my vision? Do you know what I'm talking about? Something else that is really in right now for the springtime are like these grandma-y, but make it 2020 type of sweaters. I love this trend because it kind of lets the inner grandma and me be really happy. Um, but you can still look really cute. I love this top. It is basically what what I just described is just a sweater. But what makes it interesting are these like little bubbles or lips on the top all throughout. And also the sleeves are very frilly and very dainty. And if you want to make it even more 2020, then you can kind of like unbutton the bottom ones and then wear like a bralette that is very in with high-waisted like mom jeans. That's just an outfit idea, but for a Zoom or a video chat, uh, this is really cute. It's very modest, but it's just cozy. As a YouTuber, as someone who makes videos, whenever I try to focus a black t-shirt or like black material, it never focuses. It never focuses. So that's why I'm saying white is the best option, but of course, you know, try it out. Maybe like go on a little, like a few minutes before your call and make sure that you can be seen. I'm too lazy to change out of this to make the outro, so I'm just gonna stay in the sweater. Um, but yeah, those are just some outfit ideas or top half outfit, half outfit ideas for your Zoom calls, Zoom University, for those, you know, 
video chats with the girlfriends, the wine nights, anything you want. I feel like with everything happening in the world right now, a lot of people have been feeling really dull and unmotivated and just down. So I wanted to share just some tips and ways that you can kind of perk up your mood. It really isn't for anyone else but yourself. Um, these whole outfit ideas and the outfit videos and the how to look cute in quarantine, it's really meant to make you feel better, not really the other person on the other side of the screen. Um, because I mean, everyone's going through their ish right now, everyone's having a hard time and like people are really struggling right now. So if you can kind of lift your spirits a little bit, spend the time to get ready, make yourself feel beautiful because you are beautiful. But I hope that you enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Besos. I can never do that like thing cute. How do people do it? <laughs> Bye. Bye. Oh, that was good. That was good.